This unidentified cylindrical flying object was seen glowing white, radiating a lot of light and energy, in Korea, near the highlands, as it descended to a level very close to the surface of the Earth. The unidentified flying object was cylindrical in shape with closed edges, radiating a white light similar to strong neon light, but it did not harm the eyes, according to eyewitness accounts. A thin tube emerges from one end and shines with the same bright white light. The unidentified flying object does not make any sound, does not have any engines, blades, or wings, and remains firmly in place, after descending to a level very close to the surface of the Earth. It is quite clear from the footage that, the unidentified flying object is in its plasma state, not physical, which indicates that, it is preparing to do something, while it is in its state here, taking off towards the sky into outer space, at an astonishing speed. Although there are many UFO shapes, documented throughout the long history of UFO sightings, we have not found an exact match for this strange shape, in the databases of UFO shapes. However, it was not the first time that we saw an unidentified cylindrical flying object. There are many documented sightings of such UFOs, throughout the long history of UFO sightings, some of which go back to the Blue Book Project, a government project that was specifically established, to investigate UFO sightings. But also all these sightings are not identical to what was seen in Korea. Continuing our search, we found a sighting that matches what was seen in Korea. On January 23, 1992, a very uncommon object passed over Chile, it was seen by thousands of people, from Villa O'Higgins, 2,100 km south of Santiago, to Copiapo, 700 km north of Santiago, and 200 from the ESO La Silla Observatory. Journalists from El Mercurio, the major Chilean newspaper, described the phenomenon as a luminous cloud moving northward, from which suddenly grew a mushroom, like that of an atomic explosion, and similar to a spaceship with a tail, like the one of a comet. The object flew over La Silla around 11.20 pm, and was seen by many of the observers and night assistants. After that, Eric Orberg, observing at the GPO telescope, took this picture. The object is seen surrounded by the ring, which is elongated by the motion of during the exposure, and is followed by the cone. To the left of the UFO, the remains of the cone are seen, and to the right the object is fading away, and finally disappears. To the left, the black, almost vertical lines. In Chile, and especially in the region of Elqui, where La Silla is, there is a strong tradition of seeing UFO. It appears from the Chilean incident that, the tube that appears in the front of the UFO, is used during its high-speed flight, as shown in the picture, to overcome air resistance and to make a kind of dispersal, to reduce resistance, and create a conical field around the UFO, that helps it fly at high speeds with minimal resistance. I think that the very little appearance of this unidentified flying object, and its appearance nearly 30 years ago in Chile, confirms that it is not a modern technology. And that such superior technology, must have come from outside the planet.